Champ.com here with the champ, Lamont Peterson, man. How you been, man? How's things going? Man, everything's going good right now. Uh, just been preparing for this fight for a while. And, uh, it's almost here. Got, you know, a little bit over a week. And uh, I'm 100% ready for the fight. Friday night fights, back where we started, getting something out there to the public. Uh, a lot of people, I know they've been wondering about your layoff, but you're a gym rat, naturally. You've been in the gym pretty active. When Kendall Holt's name came up as an opponent for you to defend your title, what was your first thoughts to cross your mind? Uh, I was like, you know, if that's the person that, that's, that's next, then that's who we're going to fight. You know, I didn't think twice about it. I was just, you know, at, the, at that point, H is the fight. Because before that, it was uh, Zam Judah. And then uh, we was almost done with that fight. And then all of a sudden, you know, he wasn't fighting. So, you know, I was kind of down at that point. Like, dang, I need to hurry up the fight. And then we you know, only took maybe uh, two days, and then they was like, oh, okay, uh, Ken Hall is the next available opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about fighting? I'm like, sure, let's, let's go. And before that, it was uh, negotiations with Timothy Bradley, yeah. but he didn't want to do that again. I'm pretty sure he's probably regretting that now because it was a big pay to him at the time. Uh -huh. Being that everything that you went through in the 14 months, um, you know, I, I understand it's been a long process, and the name of this fight is Redemption. It's a lot of pressure going in this because you never did anything wrong. You said what you had to say. At the same time, the fight is back in your hometown. Now, the last time the DC Athletic Commission, who I tried to contact, they haven't been in contact me with had some issues, I understand it was an issue with your license the last time, getting it to you like a little bit late. And also there was some concerns about, of course, the referee. Have they been in touch with you or you have any concerns about, again, fighting in your hometown? I have no problem with fighting in my hometown. Uh, you know, I don't think that at this point there's going to be any problems. Uh, I think uh, uh, Kent, uh, Hope's camp is pretty cool with, you know, fighting here, and I'm, and I'm definitely cool with, you know, uh, us fighting here. There's not a lot of big fights in the area, yeah. so I don't expect them to be doing everything. You know, I, I expect some some type of mistakes, but uh, we have been giving them more shows here, so I, you know, they, at the end of the day, you have to uh, learn, and sometimes you, you have to learn on the job. So, you know, I guess they're learning on the job, you know, dealing with big fights, and uh, it's my job and, you know, the other fighters in the area to, to keep the big, fight, big fights here uh, so, so, so we can have this thing, you know, completed. And uh, so when, you know, when it's time for pay-per-view fights and things yeah. like that, you know, they can take care of their business just like, you know, like we do in the area. Do you feel that Vada possibly Put a bad taste in your mouth? Nah, uh, I respect Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't know, you know, all their their, uh, their procedures, that the, 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 the protocol of, you know, how they're supposed to handle everything. But at the end of the day, um, last year, you know, a few fighters who tested with them, they were able to, uh, me included, um, able to uh, find things that, you know. Uh, that was in the urine or the blood. So if, if they're the ones where uh, I don't think uh, the, uh, you saw the uh, found any you know anything wrong with anyone. So right. If, if they're the ones that's finding you know uh, um, dirty urine or blood, then that's the the person that I want to stick with. I think they they do a, a, a great job at, at what they do, and I, I'm going to continue to, to to use them in the future. One of the titles that you had to vacate been during your layoff. What steps do you think, or how many opponents that you think you need to go through in order to get that title back? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know what's going on with that situation. Uh, I don't need really to fight anyone. Mm -hmm. you know, because as far as I know, as Lance like told me, you know, I was the champion of recess. And they were, you know, after you know, I, I I come back, you know, I start fighting again. And they will look at everything again, and you know, they will decide if I probably you know still be their champion or or not. So they still haven't made that decision. You know, I haven't talked to them, or they haven't talked to me. But you know, once we get this fight out the way, you know, come February twenty second, we'll, we'll we'll talk to them and see what they want to do. You're looking great, Wade. Where are you walking around at now? Uh, I I came in the gym today, honey. 
143 pounds. So nice. when I leave, I, I should be right on weight. Um, or maybe you know, a pound under or over, so somewhere around there. Just depending on how much work I got left to do. So uh, weight right now is not a problem. I'm just maintaining right now. And uh, it's good that I'm on weight because, you know, at this point, you need rest. Uh, you know, hard work is already done. And if I feel like taking a day off, I don't have to stress myself. Oh, I can't eat this. Oh, I can't take a day off because I'm too heavy, too much overweight. So, you know, me being on weight you know, around this time is, is great. And uh, hopefully, you know, I can do the same for you. Oh yeah. yeah. Now, how, uh, you've been happy with your nutritionist that you've been working with this camp. Oh, yeah. um, uh, how many meals a day have you been eating to get uh, ready, prepared? In the morning, we eat, you know, pretty big breakfast because we know we got a hard workout in the morning. And then after that, we might, you know, do the uh, fruits or a salad, you know, just to, you know, get some energy back in me. Uh, normally, we do a shake or something, a shake in the salad or fruit, whatever. After I train, then uh, it's time to rest up. Eat, you know, eat dinner, mm -hmm. and then uh, if I get hungry after dinner around six or seven o'clock, if I get hungry after that, you uh, do little snacks or whatever, man. That's pretty much it. So it's, it's just the three solid meals. And, you know, if I get hungry any time between you know, snacks, healthy snacks, healthy snacks. Yeah, we had to emphasize that, man. Yeah, snacks and, 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 and training camp is great. So, okay. And, you know, birds and things like that. Okay, good stuff. Now, um, tell everybody about the training, some of the training that you went through, the strength and conditioning. Did you uh, implement the PlayStation? Now, I know I talked to you about that before, but did you implement it? If you did, can you tell your fans what that consists of? Well, uh, ever since we got to this new gym, uh -huh. we got new treadmills. These treadmills go up to 14 miles per hour now. So if that 10 that we used to run on to this 14, it's, it's a big difference. And, uh, uh, which you mentioned the PlayStation. It's, 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 a, it's a series of uh, stations that we do and uh, you know consist of the treadmill, running full speed on the treadmill with the head flying all the way up uh, for three minutes, then we might hit the mids for three minutes, then we might do another exercise for three minutes. We gotta just keep rotating, rotating, rotating for at least 36 to, uh, to an hour. 36 minutes to an hour. What's the break in between? No break. No break? The break is the walk between the two stations. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's, it's no break. And uh, you just keep working. Just keep working. And uh, it, it done broke a lot of people down, but uh, I'm not one to break down easy, so you know, I, I, I get the job done every time. Right. In your eyes, what did Golden Boy bring to the table that they was all going to offer you? Just more fighters in their that stable that's around our weight class. Whether it's Walter Wade or Jimmy Walter. If you look at their stable, they're stacked in those two areas. So if I'm looking at looking to make big fights in, in, in the future, then going is it's a no-brainer really. It's just, it has to be Golden Boy because you know two of the other belts that are out there, other than you know the belt that I have, uh, the Ali Atlas title. The only one fighting to have those belts. Right. So, you know, and I, and I want all of them. So, the best chance to, to do that was to, was to go with, you know, go with them. Okay. All right. Um, Lamont, uh, there's, been, there's been some questions about, you know, um, your brother training with you. Is uh, we going to get a chance to see him soon? I know you can't speak for him, but do you think you know, we'll see him again soon, well, like within the upcoming months? Uh, he's getting to fight in March. Okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, they'll be here in DC. So he was on, on wanted to be on this car initially, but when the other car came out, he was able to you know go out and do his own main event. So it was like, why not just let him go ahead and fight the car that's only a one away? And uh, you know, so you will able to see him too. A lot of people still, they still in somewhat matter. They still want to see you have a second fight with Amir Khan now, not looking past that whole at all. Is that something that you want or do you think that's something that makes sense to what the fans make? Because I know you're a fan-friendly fighter. If the fans want to talk about it, you're open up to it. Is that still something that you want to do? Uh, it's something that I would do, like you said, if that's what the fans want, regardless of, you know, win, lose, or draw this next fight, 
or whatever he done during his career. If it makes sense at the time that it's brought up, then I'm off. There was rumors a long time ago that actually you and Kendall were supposed to be smart partners. Is that true or false? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think I ever. Back when you was like down in Memphis? Yeah. No, we, we uh, never sparred or anything. I know we were supposed to fight one time. Okay. Before, but it was a last minute call on, on my end. And, uh, you know, I was just, you know, for a world title fight, you just don't take it in two weeks. And uh, there was no way I was going to make the weight anyway. So, <laughs> you know, I had to leave it out. I, yeah, I figured, you know, eventually we'll get in the ring together. And, you know, can't Any thoughts, anything you want to give in closing to your fans and sponsors, supporters? Uh, man, just uh, thanks for supporting me. You know, for this 14 month layoff, off I couldn't have done it without, without my fans and uh, family. February 22nd, uh, I'm back. The champ says it's going to be back. Hit him up on King Pete 26 yep. on Twitter, also on Facebook. Is that correct? No, nah, not on Facebook. Not on Facebook, so we're going to count it. Thanks for your time, Lamar. I appreciate it.